Hello guys, uh, in this video what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, this animated search bar um, that is um, it's a small widget that, uh, that we are going to create and we are using the uh, Travis Media 50 projects in 50 days uh, challenge here and it's uh, and we are using the course material um, that's given by Travis Media to create this so uh, check the links in the description for more info on that and so let's just get into the video what we have done here is we, we have used the template that we were using and the link to that is uh, in the cards you can check that out and in there we have added the font awesome uh, um, font awesome library and from cdnjs so to start uh, we'll just remove the h1 tag here and we'll uh, change the uh, title of the page to hidden search now uh, what we want here is at first we want a, a div with the container of search and in this div uh, we want two things one is the input with the class of input and we want the placeholder for the input as search and dot 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 then what we want is we want a button with the class of button and in this button uh, we want want a uh, want a font or some icon so we will add a, an icon fas fa slash search and this is the font 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 or some icon for search so we will say that now we can see that there is a search bar or an input bar and uh, a search uh, search button so uh, that's all there is in html uh, now we we'll do some styling so in the styling uh, style.css in the style.css we do not want the flex direction to be column so we'll just remove that uh, all the things uh, we want and here we'll add a background image background image and we'll add a linear gradient and we'll add it at a 90 degree and the colors are uh, say blue and purple just keeping it very simple and you can see that uh, there is the gradient there so uh, now we want the search con search div and what we'll do here is we'll give it a value of position of relative and why we are doing this is because we want to uh, position the button inside as absolute and we want to give it a height of 50 pixel and 50 pixel and save that um, now we, we we want to style the input input and the button so we'll start with the input input field so search and input with a class of input so what we want here is we want to set the background color uh, background color as white and we want to set a padding of 50 pixel it's too big we'll just make it 10 pixel yeah that's better we do not want any border so border zero um, we want it to have a height of 50 pixel and a width of 50 pixel so now it's just a just a square so how 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 we are planning to make this work is we'll place this button on top of it and when uh, when an active class is added to the search con search div uh, the width of 
this uh, this input uh, becomes bigger and the search bar uh, search button moves towards the right revealing the whole input field so that's what uh, we are going to do we'll also set the font size for the uh, for the input field we'll give it the value of 18 pixel so that's all we need for now now we'll target the uh, button so it has a search it has a class of button so we want it to have a background color of white want a background color of white uh, we do not want any border we want it its position to be absolute and we want it at top zero and left left zero see that now it's there uh, now let's set the height and the width so we'll give it a height of 50 pixel and we'll give it a width of 50 pixel save that now it's completely covering the uh, the button we'll also increase the font size of the button uh, to say 20 pixels now the icon is also bigger and now what we what we want is when the active when the active class is added uh, we want the search bar to have maximum width and we want the button to move right so when the search has an active class we want the button to do something so what we want to do is we want to transform uh, and translate x uh, to 100 pixels or say 200 pixels and when when the search and active class is there we want the input to have a width of 150 pixel so let's just try that okay um, so let's just add the javascript so that uh, when we click it the action takes place so uh, to do that we'll do const we'll first get all the elements from the dom into the javascript file so we'll add get the button first and how we're going to do that is we'll get document document dot query selector and we'll select the class of button and similarly we'll just copy paste this line twice and we'll change it to input input has a class of input and search and search has a, has a class of search so we've got everything inside so next what we'll do is we'll add a event listener to the button listener and we want to listen to the event click and when the click happens we want this function to be called and this is an arrow function let me just correct that so in this function what we want is uh, when this when the button is clicked we want to add active class to the search search div so we will do search dot class list dot toggle active so basically what it does is uh, this toggle toggle function it's uh, it removes and adds based on the state so 
if we save and try that nothing happens so let's just see if what's the error? document spelling mistake so okay we'll just correct that document save that now if we click we'll see there is a quick action there so we uh, we, we also want when the when, when this button is clicked we want the search bar to be in focus so we'll do input dot focus so when the button is clicked the input is in focus so when the when the inputs are in focus there is an outline we don't want that so we'll remove that um, so what we'll do is we'll add search dot input and focus comma search dot button focus we want to remove the outline outline of zero okay so now the outline is gone but the animation is not uh, how we want it to be also uh, the width is too much when they act when the when the button is active so we we'll just in increase the width as 200 so now it's it it looks more cohesive now we now we want to animate it properly so what we'll do is we'll put a transition field uh, transition property to the uh, input and we want to transition the width property and we want to take a, we want the transition to happen in 0.3 seconds and we'll give it a style of ease and we'll copy this line and paste it here and we'll change the uh, property here to transform and now uh, when we click here there is a smooth animation taking place and the button is in focus so, so that's how you create a an animating hidden search search box so i hope you learned something from this video um, if you did uh, let me know so thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one